what is happening is, uh, I think, um, is not a good sign for the future of humanity. You see, why, why I say this? Because we come in this world and uh, we are alone. You are an individual, but we never feel completeness. We never feel absolutely complete and uh, full of energy and love and, and uh, all positive uh, feelings that will make us happy and it doesn't matter whether we marry or we don't marry, whether we have a partner or not a partner. But actually what I have found out in having, having listened to so many people about their lives and what happened and all that, I have come to the conclusion that uh, this isolation with which we are born and uh, we come in this it can be counteracted by a companion but uh, in order to happen this it needs certain parameters to be fulfilled now which are these parameters it's a long uh, issue of course what happens and um, I, I would say from um, this experience that uh, what can connect really to people are feelings, erotic feelings, um, in distinction from um, sexual feelings. So what actually can connect to people is the love and the admiration and the 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 appreciation of another person who, whom we trust completely and we give out our adoration, our love. So, so in order to feel the completeness, you need to fall in love, but really fall in, in love, not as a physical attraction only. This includes, but there is a time when this should be practiced, the physical attraction. At, at this moment, the physical attraction and the sexual sexuality has taken the place of the erotic feelings, has taken the place of these romantic feelings that develop between two personalities, where they should merge completely one to another. And this is possible only in case you are falling in love, really. This is the only time that the ego goes and takes a second place, is not the absolute importance for each one of us. We see, we, we try, we try different once we have failed to find a companion and to have a complete erotic life, etc. And once we have tried it uh, several times and it has failed and divorces are happening, etc. So once we have uh, failed in this search for completeness, then uh, we try to find a substance, something to replace this. And uh, there are different ways that different people are taking in order to substitute these uh, feelings of uh, incompleteness. Uh, so people are turning to different, different. Um, they start a search: what, what will get me out of misery? What will get me out of? Uh, depression, of uh, loneliness. So, and then there come in different possibilities, starting with the psychologist, and then uh, the gurus, and then the different yoga postures, and the different meditations. All these are replacement for 
something that has been given to us as a possibility and as a charisma to be able to fall in love with each other. But the question is, why this does not happen? Or why this happens very few times in the whole world? The whole world, the couples who are living a complete life emotionally, mentally, and spiritually are very few. And all they are seeking changes and uh, new experiences. And, and then all this becomes, becomes a, a running behind uh, different ideas in different functions, in different societies, different groups, etc., to give our self in order to feel what we are missing, which is the incompleteness. So all these young people of today are caught in this kind of inquiry and this kind of, of uh, effort to get out of suffering, out of pain, and at the same time, enjoy myself as much as possible. So they fall into the trap following exactly what are going is going to make them unhappy for the rest of their lives. So, so people will say, I will not marry. But why I will not marry? Because has never fallen in love, has never fallen in uh, to that state to taste the bliss, the happiness, the completeness. When you have a partner who understands you, who wants to explain, exchange with you feelings, ideas, knowledge, etc. But each one not keeping it, keeping himself back. He says, I will make a concession and I will give you so much of myself. So those who can really let it go once they find the correct companion, today are very few. Now, why there are very few? Since the natural thing and the best thing would be to find such a companion. Why it's so difficult to find such a, such a suitable companion? The reason is uh, that uh, the experience which starts quite early in the search for a companion, 12, 13, 14 year old, men, boys and girls, they start searching find a companion and the the absolutely harmonious uh, thing will be each one to find their own companion her own companion where they can say this is the man i want to marry to live together the rest of my life this is a decision which is taken today most of the times, logically, you know, he's a good boy, he has a good position, etc. She's a good because if if one wants to marry some some girl or some boy, and one of the first things that they calculate is how far I can trust the other person. So once this starts, this thinking starts. The whole thing is lost. The magic which has been given to the humans to fall in love and feel under this magic, to feel the extreme feelings of the other person who says, I could sacrifice my life for you, which means I can give up my ego. So this, this very dangerous thing which is falling in love the more healthy one is but healthy not only physically mentally emotionally spiritually then such a person can find a partner that is suitable for him and he will be allowed to recognize 
these birds. You see, uh, after humanity, after going through this extreme aggression, which is going at the moment and it's coming, they will realize the futility of uh, hatred each other. It leads to nowhere. And the realization will come to the people that uh, this kind of feelings that are prominent in our societies today are feelings of uh, destruction and uh, unhappiness and pain, suffering, where the societies will organize themselves in a different way because they will have understood the futility of superficial uh, relations that uh, are going on at this moment in the young generation.